You know, that's one thing nice about our pets. They like to go wherever we go. They are just happy. They are happy to be our, and this ain't actually my pet. I call it my pet, but it's actually my youngest son, Cooper's dog. Since we're just going to run over to Coles quick, get the other skid loader, bring it home. My little buddy's riding along. It's my honor. And just think, it won't be too long. I'll be having the little grandkids tagging along. Hey, Grandpa, let's go cause some troubles. Hey, you know, let's get into whatever we can get into. We got a little visitor that came down to the shop here today to help us. Hey, Eddie. Hey, Eddie. <laughs> oh. What do you got there, Eddie? What do you got? Yeah, yeah. What do you got? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> we got little Eddie down here today. <laughs> Ellie, Ellie. What do you got stuck on your head there, buddy? It's right here, honey. <laughs> well, Mr. Skidloader, are you ready to go back to the repair shop? Come on in, little puppy. Come on, let's go in and get on in. I'll go first so you don't sit in my seat. <laughs> Come on up, Ellie. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. This is where it's always hard if Ellie don't get in with me. I really got to make sure I know where she's at and I can see her really good. Because when I back up the skid loader, here she comes. Good girl. Good girl. I'd rather have Ellie in the skid loader with me then I know where she's at at all times because otherwise when I back off the trailer it tilts back and it goes quick. That's why if we she's not in the cab with me I really need to know where she's at far away so she can't get underneath the trailer. Oh, we're going down the ramp. Well not ramp. Our trailer is tilting. The old backing up the trailer trick here. You don't want to go too fast and hit the back and flip over backwards either. If you watch right there in the corner, right in there, you'll see a red thing pop up. I don't know if you see that or not. That unlocks the head, or not the head, but the bucket, so we can set it off. There we go. No use taking it in the shop. We got Zach opening the door for us. Okay, Zach has a question for you guys. So we took this old hose off. If it's stretched, and we lay this on there and cut it to exact, when we put it back on there, we're two and three quarter inches short. This hose was stretched, and we're cutting it to the stretched length. We put it up there, we're two and three quarter inches short. <laughs> Did you find out you can put a plug in it then? Yeah. Not banking ice. Yeah, different places. Oh, true. True. And the guy said, uh, if you can, we find conduit. It just is thinner than a hose bar. That's kind of what they got there. So I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, that's weird. Zach and Cole, or Zach and Cooper. Zach and Cooper are working on the planter and they found a couple air tubes that go to our row units. A couple spots that were pinched kind of bad. So they're going to cut them out, put a uh, barb in there, put her back together. You know, like a plug like that. And then we get the great journey of lifting the cab again, find out what's leaking on the skid loader. Probably something we worked on last time, but I don't know, the one fitting just, it's weird. So anyhow, we're gonna flip the cab, check it out. We'll flip this little cab over, we'll see, hopefully, uh, something stands out. We're gonna have to check it out, not sure yet. Trying to find a little hydraulic leak on this skid loader, the JCB. There was a little fitting a couple of weeks ago that I repaired, thought we had it, but it's just a small little drip yet. And I think it's almost like a air hose on a semi. It's got the little squeeze barb, you tighten it up, it's supposed to pinch it. I don't know, maybe 
I went and got one of them. Maybe it's just a little different fitting for the JCB. I may have to call them, but I'm gonna try snugging it up a little more. It's kind of in a tight area. We'll see if we can find it down there. And who knows, maybe it's got another leak. <laughs> what do you think? We got work to do. What are you playing for? Uh, oh, looks like Ellie wants to take a minute to play. So I'm gonna take that second and make her happy. Oh, Ellie, 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 Ellie. We're gonna try this and hopefully everything goes good, but we're gonna try to tighten that line up that I put on a few weeks ago. <sighs> they have to put it, but at least we can reach it. It's just a little snug. Hi, Ellie. Hi, girl. How are you? Hmm? How are you, girl? I don't know. We actually tightened it up a fairly decent amount, so let's hope. I'm going to see if I can find. Probably a little hard to see what we're doing, but this little fitting actually slides into my fitting down where I'm hooking to. Put a little bolt over it. A nut, I should say a nut. And then as you tighten it, it's supposed to pinch flare on this little rubber hose. And I don't know, it's dripping, but I was able to actually turn it a couple, maybe a turn and a half or so, if that. So maybe, let's hope, let's try it, start it up, see what happens. Kind of fun trying to start it when the cab's tilted. It's still leaking, still leaking. Shoot. Trying to find parts for the JCB right now, so Cooper's been on the phone on that. But in the meantime, the 16 row white planter pulled in. So we're gonna kind of check that out. Shouldn't be much wrong at all, if any, because we didn't run very many acres through this little planter last year. First row unit. Zach looks at, there's a busted frog underneath there. You're looking too hard, Zach, if you're finding things broke. <laughs> On the first one? Yeah. Yeah, this one's two, 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 and an inch and five eighths right there, but there's one. Maybe Zach's under there breaking the stuff just so we have to <laughs> We have a couple bearings we want to change. So we got to pull this whole shaft out. So we're kind of shining it up. So hopefully we can take it apart and get it out. You would always think this stuff goes quick and it always takes longer than you think. I bet you guys are looking at me like, wow, what's the deal? Daddy Cornstar don't have his red sweatshirt on. He don't have his, his other slacks and stuff he's been wearing forever. What's going on? When I promote stuff like our, hey, what's in my pocket? Oh, we'll control for the door. But the deal is when I'm like our sweatshirts and stuff, the Daddy Corn Star ones, I want to make sure they're good quality because if they're junk, I don't want to be asking you guys, hey, hey please wear my Daddy Corn Star sweatshirts and stuff, you know, and then find out they like shrink up to nothing when you wash them or you wear them 10 times and they rip out bad. I've had that happen too many times. I want to stand behind what we're pushing you know, to, to help our channel and stuff. The sales of the sweatshirts, t-shirts, all that stuff helps us buy cameras and things like that. So I've been wearing the living heck out of that sweatshirt. And then the same with the slacks or pants. These are good quality. The pants and everything are brunt. Brunt clothes, 
brunt boots these boots are brunt i've had them over a year now wore them every day for work so if you get in our description down below you can order through us and everything and we got some new sweatshirts and stuff coming new logos so you know what i'm up to now i'm not going crazy i just want to make sure we're promoting really good stuff